guys, it's Maisha from Sephora Pro. And Amy from Sephora Pro. And we are here to talk about one of our favorite things, which is lipstick. Yes. Uh, there's a bunch of new stuff out right now, and we're transitioning to fall, and we can wear sweaters, and with sweaters comes more lipstick. <laughs> mm -hmm. As we layer our clothes, we layer, <laughs> layer our, our lips. <laughs> Yeah, so I mean, we did one in spring, around springtime, and we talked about some of the colors that we really liked, and you know, some of the things that were really on trend, like mm -hmm. a little bit lighter colors, like more of like the browns With and the like 90s the nudes sort of look, very '90s look. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, that's kind of what we're doing now is like how we are transitioning our favorite colors on trend mm -hmm. um, into autumn. Mm -hmm. And moving into you know holiday. Yeah, so yeah. we have a few you know key brands we really want to talk about, but you can take these tips and tricks and apply them to anything. So yeah. you have Huda. I do have Huda. So um, Huda Beauty has a liquid matte lipstick. So you know liquid matte lipsticks are huge. Yeah. <laughs> and a lot of different brands have them, and I'm so excited for Huda to finally have them out. So, you know, what I have here is actually one matte liquid lipstick. What I normally wear is like the browns and, and the nudie called? browns. This one is called, I can't read it, it's so tiny. Mm, I'll be your eyes. Thank uh, you. <laughs> flirt. This is called Flirt. Flirt. So, um, it's very fun and flirty, just like the name. But what I like to do now is I'm actually kind of getting more into like the plums. Mm. Um, more so like, you know, I'm really into like the 90s. I kind of never really left the 90s. Um, and I love that they are back in style. So, um, you know, rather than just sticking with like the browns, like I'm really going more into like a plum mm -hmm. color, like as in like the mid to late 90s. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm gonna and, try this on. Yeah, too. go ahead and try that yeah. on. I have Make It Forever. So you guys know I either have a pink lip, a brown lip, or some sort of burgundy. So these new Make It Forever lipsticks are so pretty. Um, they have this magnetic closure because I really hate when my lipstick uh, falls apart in my bag when the cap comes off and it gets all gross. It's a pet peeve of mine. So they're magnetic, so they will not open on you. And they have this really cool bullet. Um, it has this really pointy bullet so that you can do your lips and get that like ultimate precision. Um, I really like for fall um, sort of wearing a lot of like white and sort of holiday colors with like a nice sort of like pinky burgundy lip. Lately I've been doing a brown burgundy but this has more of a pink to it. So really they pretty. have all these cool shades. This one is M501, which I'll put on in a second. But one of the cooler things is they have a white, which is a really cool shade. And this is C600. And C stands for cream, I believe. And then M stands for matte. So I have a lot of color naturally in my lips. My lips are very pink. And I was wearing a lip, liquid lipstick earlier, so they have a lot of color in them. So what you can do to sort of cancel out your lip color a little bit is apply a little bit of the white. And I like to blend it in with my finger because the warmth of your, your hand is really gonna push it into the lips better than the brush. This is really great if you're wearing a really neon color to give mm -hmm. it that like nice white. That's really pretty. I like that a lot. Thank you. That nice background. This is also really good if you have really pink lips like myself and you just wanna cancel them out a little bit. So I'm gonna go mm -hmm. ahead and apply. Yeah, you know, I really like that about the white too, um, especially even there's a lot of brands that have the cream lip color uh, that's coming out with like different formulations and, and Christian Dior is um, an oldie but a goodie, a classic. Uh -huh. um, I absolutely love the texture of Christian Dior and they're really starting to really catch up with the trend. Um, like they have your classic colors but they're really starting to speak to, you know, the younger clients, mm -hmm. um, the client who likes those funky colors and you still get some luxury and prestige and so you can see these beautiful, beautiful pigments. I love this shimmer berry color um, but what I really wanted to talk about with this, was this matte gray, which does the similar thing of the white that we were talking about with Makeup Forever. And so this matte gray is really, really soft. And you could use it by itself if you really want to be, you know, on trend with mm -hmm. the gray. And you could do like a really pretty ombre with um, a soft plum on the outer corners. Do you see that? Really, That's really, really pretty. pretty. It makes really it almost cool. like sort of like a... Could, that looks very unicornish. I think that's so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Like, it's very fantastic. That, that ombre little, like, together is really beautiful. Like fantasy type thing. It's it's really gorgeous and it's just a way to get like a really cool effect. And then you can even use like a really thin layer to really you know, mute down your natural lip color and then you can put any color over top of it and it actually adds some vibrancy to it. Mm -hmm. So I absolutely love it. Now, even though I've been using a lot of matte lipsticks lately, what I love about Dior is that they're so creamy and... I love to take, this is another thing that I've been doing lately with Trend, is taking a cream 
and going right in the center of <laughs> talking a little imperialistic. Yeah. Right in the center of my matte lip color. So it's like I use my matte liquid lip as like a primer. Mm -hmm. And then I use my cream lip color just like as a pop of color in the center. And it really just adds really a lot pretty. of hydration. And it's super pretty. Um, I absolutely love it. Mm -hmm. So oh, I can clean gorgeous. this up in a little bit. But um, just so you know, I use a Sephora Collection uh, gel liner in Dark Horse. It's one of my favorite so uh, dark lip liners because it's creamy. So mm -hmm. it doesn't drag like a lot of their lip liners. My lips are a little bit dry right now. Um, and then I put the, again, the M501. Mm -hmm. And what I'm going to do is pop a little bit of the white in the center. And then oh my God, that's ombre it. So pretty. You know what? I'm, let me see what happens when I put a little bit of the gray in this right yeah. here. Because what happens? Oh, look. It's similar. So what happens when you wear a dark lip color, I know sometimes people think, oh, it's dark. It's going to stand out more. Your lips are going to look bigger. Actually, dark can make your lips look a bit smaller. So what you want to do is have most of the darkness around the outer edge. And then right in the center, you want to pop a little bit of a pink or sort of a sort of a transition color. You can use the white, and it's basically going to give you the perfect transition color because it's lighter than the lipstick. And it's going to have that sort of fullness in the center of your lip. I know I mention this all the time, but look at old paintings, oil paintings, and mm -hmm. things like that. Look at a lip. It's never one color. It always has a little bit of white in the center, a little bit of pink in the center, even on a red or like sort of a burgundy lip. And that's just what you're trying to mimic. And even me with really full lips, if I just do a straight burgundy, sometimes my lips look really tiny. I want them to look full always. So that's good. I think that's really, you know, a goal for a lot of us. Um, I really love what the gray did in the center. That's really cool. It's really, it really cool. It has this cool. weird, like, weird in a good way. Yeah, um, it's, it's, opalescent yeah, kind it's of look opalescent. to it. Yeah, it's opalescent. That's the coolest part because you would never think, like, it looks almost like gray-green in person. And yeah. it looks opalescent on your lips. It does. I mean, it also has some lipstick on it right there. So we're going to take that off. Mm -hmm. um, the, the last thing I wanted to talk about in lipstick trends is really more of like um, like a Korean beauty trend mm -hmm. um, by taking something that's like more of a berry color and getting that like lip bit stain in uh -huh. the center. This is something that I'm seeing that is still going on as a trend. And I think it's really fun. So um, just really mute out, like start with a lip balm and then kind of like mute out the outer edge of like your lip foundation. with a little concealer mm. foundation. Um, um, I'll even use sometimes, you know, um, a little bit of like a powder foundation on the edge um, and then put my lip balm on and then just take a little tiny bit of like a berry color mm -hmm. and just go right in the center of the lip and then use your finger to feather it out. I and call it, it a popsicle beautiful. lip. So what I just <laughs> added um, was the Rose Caprice, the 475 from Dior. So and it has this sort of like opalescent, I know it looks kind of messy because I put lipstick on, but this opalescent mm -hmm. uh, sort of like frosty pink. This is like the the LOL, the little old lady, like frosty pink that I love to wear. <laughs> it's so uh, good. And it's so pretty. And it added this like other dimension to my lips. So I really, really like it. It's like. Hey! Oh, hey! <laughs> we have the same lip color. You see, this is how this is yeah. how in tune we are. See? We ended up with the same lip color, even though we had like eight different lipsticks between us. <laughs> it's always good to buy those really dark shades and really yeah. light shades because you can always sort of mix and come up with your own concoctions. Oh, um, sure. And the white and the gray are two things I'm totally adding to my lip wardrobe. Completely obsessed. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm really surprised about the gray because, you know, like how Maisha yeah. said, it looks like a greeny gray. And this actually turned out to be, I think, one of my favorite, I don't know, almost like a it transformer looks holographic. kind of. holographic. I don't know if that yeah. was intentional Dior, but good job. Good job, Dior. Because, yeah. I mean, it looks matte. Yeah, and it gave your lips like this sheen, like almost like um, when you put eyeshadow on the lips. Yeah. Really cool. Really, really cool. So I think that's pretty much it yeah. as far as our favorite lip trends so nowadays. So go forth and wear your fall <laughs> lip colors. I Layer your lips lip. like you're layering your clothes. Yeah, you can wear yeah. seven lipsticks when someone yeah. asks you what you have Start on. your totally lip fun. wardrobe. Yeah. Start a lip wardrobe. <laughs> and, you know, comment below. Let us know how you wardrobe your lips. Um, you know, be creative. Have fun with it. Let us know in the comments. We do read the comments. And so, you know, if you have any questions for yeah. us, let us know. We're definitely here for you. Yeah. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye.